part two of preserving family wealth. The moment you mention family wealth, this means business and every business requires planning. I am Tony Mugisha from Ayton Capital. Let's continue. As I was saying, preserving family wealth requires planning. Most people think in five years periods, others 10 years, but let me break it down. For family wealth preservation, planning in the short term is 25 years. Long term is 50 years and above. Very few people think along these lines. And for family wealth preservation to happen, all the three arms need to be working together. That's to say, human capital, intellectual capital, and financial capital. In detail, human capital is people in the family. This can be nuclear or extended family. Intellectual capital is everything people in the family know, but knowing alone is not enough. This involves how they share that information among themselves. I am sure you have noticed that in certain families, if not most, there's this thing called gossip, where instead of concentrating on a certain family member's intellect, skill, or professional knowledge they carry, other family members are talking about something that doesn't help the family business at all. Sometimes the information you know about this family member may be as old as five or seven years. They are rarely updated. A family that simply maintains value for human capital and intellectual capital will gradually perish even if the third arm is growing. That is to say financial capital. This is assets and properties owned by the family. The opposite of maintaining human and intellectual capital is growing it. That is where I ask, as someone who is working and thinking long term to carry and preserve your family wealth for generations to come after you, do you know how to grow human capital and intellectual capital within the family? In part three for this series, I explain that in detail. I am Tony Mugisha from Ayton Capital. Hope to see you in part three.